What up, what up? It's your boy Dies for Danny, aka the King of Content, back at you for 10 days in Brazil, day two. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Because the Republic uh, was like a revenge of the owners of slavery. Okay, that they get because uh, the monarchy when they finished the slavery. Okay, so the owners of the landlords, the big landlords, they had like a revenge against the monarchy. They implemented the republic. So you got me, Giovanni, who's the director of the Afro Brazilian Incubator, and Paulo, who was the translator and also is uh, involved with the Afro Brazilian Incubator, taking a tour through Centro Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. This is Centro Rio de Janeiro. It represents the financial heart of the city and the core of the central region. It's a territory from the black community perspective. This territory is a hub. Yeah, to make um hub de múltiplos negócios de pessoas exactly. negras. Então, gastronomia já está se construindo. Okay. Já são okay. partes. Okay. Uh, gastronomy is like uh, is one of the businesses that are improving, uh, that are growing here. Okay. Despite having a large number of residences, the neighborhood is predominantly commercial, a mixture of historical buildings from the 18th century as well as modern skyscrapers. The Valongo Wharf is an old dock located in the port area of central Rio de Janeiro. Built in 1811, it was the site of landing and trading of enslaved Africans until 1831 with the blockade of Africa banning the Atlantic slave trade to Brazil. During the 20 years of operation, between 500,000 and 1 million slaves landed in Val. Brazil received 4.9 million slaves through the transatlantic slave trade. On this very platform, 210 years ago, millions of innocent slaves were brought and sold and ripped away from their families. This is the reason African American families have so much dysfunction today. So, we intensified the investments here, much in function of this. So, we have a vision of a long term for this territory. We have a long term for this territory. Nando, Georgia, and so on. We have a long term for this territory. It's to make this territory our place in the city. To make this here, in fact, because he's already the city of his city. É, mas é fazer um bairro dele com uma perspectiva empresarial, okay. né, da identidade. This is where it goes back to my question. Okay. Of what? Okay. You know, I understand now what the services are. Okay. But I think that's the most important part of spreading the word. Estava gravando uma live. Conta um pouquinho sobre isso, por favor. Agora? Sim, por favor. Fazendo uma live em homenagem aos 38 anos de Samba Tororó e divulgando também a participação desse movimento de Samba Junino, que é uma característica de Salvador, do Recôncavo e em Salvador preservado através de vários grupos juninos e o Samba Tororó, 38 anos, está fazendo parte dessa história. E como patrimônio material, nós também estamos é, divulgando o Modo KTD, que foi a primeira vítima desse perverso genocida Bolsonaro e a partir disso fizemos um samba para ele. Vou colocar leite de coco e seu cuscuz. Vou colocar leite de coco e seu cuscuz e seu cuscuz. Vou colocar Bolsonaro. Leite de coco e seu cuscuz. Vou colocar leite de coco e na vem sambar. 
Tororó vadia, menina vem samba Tororó vadia, vem provar que o leite é doce Vem provar, vem provar que o leite é doce Vem provar, samba Tororó é o mais gostoso Vem provar Vou colocar leite de coco e seu cuscuz Bolsonaro Home of the Summer Olympics in 2016, Rio de Janeiro underwent a lot of structural and artistic enhancements to better host the worldwide event. Among the projects was a 3,000 square meter mural painted by the renowned artist Eduardo Cobra. Cobra's art has become famous on social media. His mural, with the help of several graffiti spray painters, now holds the world record for the largest spray paint mural by a team. Amazon expands in Brazil, riding the e-commerce boom set off by COVID-19. The expansion adds 75,000 square meters of distribution space. It is Amazon's biggest since it began operating in Brazil in 2012. So this is a courtyard as we were walking through, headed to g, &G Gourmet. Um, you know, as you can see, the street art, man, the murals, so much detail in the artwork, definitely represent the Afro-Brazilian culture that's there. This area is actually a, a tourist attraction as well. They have a bodega sitting there, you know, coconut trees, it's in the middle of nowhere. And you'll see pictures of Michael Jackson, also Michael Jackson with the fro. Um, they definitely revere Michael Jackson. And, uh, he spent a lot of time in Brazil, especially in Sao Paulo. And I'm sorry, not Sao Paulo, um, in Bahia, Salvador. Some of this place is packed with people. Mm. That is the really traditional African samba. Yeah. Yeah. People singing and playing. That's a very, very nice place. This is another little overlook. I want to say that's the one of the bays there. Overlooking different parts of the city. Oh God, people just hanging out, having a good time, enjoying life. Daqui do morro eu não saio não, hum. ok? He says, I won't leave the hill because of gentrification, prices are going up everything, they want to put people out of the hill, ok? Hum. But, yeah, it says, I won't leave the hill. These are just some candid shots that I got while walking through doing our tour. We got the phone booth, we actually had a dial tone. This is a solidarity tree where you can leave different items and pick up different items. And then this cat was just looking so peaceful. Um, had to get a shot of it, beautiful little cat. Yeah. What is this structure? Yeah, it's a fortress. This fortress. is a fortress? Yeah, okay. The very old fortress, as you can see. Uh, you, you stop in front of the offices. We have the corner over there, yeah. So, it belongs to the army. Oh, 
Fortaleza com S. É. Com é português, português antigo, né? É. After the second French invasion, okay, in 1780, yeah. Uh, you see that the sign it's written Fortaleza, that means fortress, with the Z, and not the X, written with the X. Yeah, that's yeah. The, yeah, yeah, back, back, way back. It was written with the S. I think that's the same with Brazil. Yeah, because yeah. Sometimes it's spelled B R A S I L. But Brazil is S, is with S. Okay, okay. don't okay. say Brazil is it. We'll okay, say okay. here, but people will not like that. <laughs> okay. Action. Okay. So hey, we're at B and G Gourmet, and my name is Daniel Fitz. I'm CEO of Half Leaders Media. Uh, I'm fortunate enough to take a trip to Brazil and stumble across this excellent restaurant with the owner. And uh, please introduce yourself. Tell us who you are. My name is Jorge Amores. I'm carioca. I'm 44 years Sou a proprietária do GG Gourmet, do chefe de cozinha aqui do nosso restaurante. É, fui passista durante 34 anos da minha vida, dediquei minha vida toda, dedico a minha vida toda a cultura, né, ao samba. É, eu tive uma roda de samba onde a gente surgiu o Bobó da Geórgia, era servido um prato nosso. É, que até hoje faz bastante sucesso, está sempre aí na mídia.
Look at the attention to detail, the tiles on this banister, going down just a random staircase. It's a constant reminder of our heritage, and it's always seen to be paying homage to our ancestors. It's beautiful artistic work. Before I got my groove on to a little samba, I was able to catch a quick interview with the owner, Nando, of Casa Del Nan. Great information, great history on this space. He went over some of the challenges he faces as a black entrepreneur in Rio de Janeiro. so much culture out there in Brazil. I was able to grab this dope piece of artwork from one of the artists. I even follow him guys. He's awesome. End of the night in Lapa. Uh, street festival. You see the drinks, that's the native drink, the Capriana, and they use a liquor called Choa. It's a great night. It's happy to be in Brazil. This ends day two, 10 days in Brazil, with your boy Diaspora Danny, aka the king of content, aka Dashiki Daniel. Catch you in day three. Peace.